We're now two days removed from the landfall of Hurricane Milton. And it's really Hurricane Helene and Milton back to back that's caused so many issues here in the Tampa area. I'm in a neighborhood that sits on a canal here, and it was during Helene we had a saltwater surge that came in, and so a lot of people have had to pull all the contents out of their home, and it's sitting curbside now. You can see every little bit of, of everything they own is sitting out curbside as we had several feet of water that came in here. And then along came Milton that then brought fresh water flooding. So these same neighborhoods ended up taking on more feet of water. Luckily, all that water has now receded. And so after day of search and rescue and a thousand water rescues yesterday, the water is down and now more of an assessment and recovery mode today. Power is still out for a large number of customers. More than 2 million customers across the state do not have power. A big number of those here in the Tampa Metro, including in Pinellas, Hillsborough, and Manatee counties. The good news is all the bridges have reopened. Good news is airport has resumed operations, and so you can get flights in and out of Tampa right now. But electricity restoration may take some time. Water is still a bit of an issue. There's water pressure issue in Tampa, so reduce water pressure. And in St. Petersburg, not drinkable water right now in a boil water advisory. Doing cleanup today, the state recommends a couple of things. Make sure that you're hydrating, taking breaks, temperatures this afternoon, get into the 80s. Also, proper protective gear, especially if you're operating a chainsaw, make sure you have safety glasses. And they're really encouraging everyone to put on insect spray today. There's been a lot of standing water here after Hurricane Milton and a breeding ground for mosquitoes. So extra insect repellent, a must. That is the very latest here from Tampa, Florida. I'm Mike Bettis, and now back to you.